Hi uh, guys, so Superstar here, and today I'm going to be showing you and actually warning all of you um, a couple of things. Okay, so basically what happened is I did a recent um, haul, haul from uh, Tokyo Toys. Now, from now on, I'm never going to buy from them again. Based on the fact that they lie to you, they tell you things that aren't true, and they sell bootlegs in their store which for me is big no 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 and I've had enough so what happened is I bought this like I said on my whole video online on their website and this is in fact a bootleg that's right I bought a bootleg so I fucked up bought a bootleg and I'm not happy so instead of being angry now you would expect me to be really pissed off right wrong I'm gonna turn this negative into a positive now um, the negative, the bad point about this is I wasted £15 on this piece of shit here. £15. The positive thing is I'm going to make this video and I'm going to show all of you to avoid this piece of shit at all costs and to avoid Tokyo Toys now because they sell bootlegs and to be honest with you that's, that's wrong. That's, that's the end of it. There is no right. This is fucking wrong. Okay, if you support bootlegs, then you may like this video and you may like this plush. That's your opinion, that's fair enough. But me, I want official merchandise, the end of it. So first of all, let's go on the major factors here, the cardboard tag. Now if I just do a zoom on this guys to show you what it says. What it says there, it says Ole Factory. Now I've never even heard of this damn make in my life. Now this is a huge indication of bootleg and on the back here it says the same old thing which I'm going to point out quickly. On the bottom in big black writing made in China and it also says the same thing on a touch tag as well. Where is a touch tag? Right on our ass there it is. Right, let me just focus the camera. Right on her ass, made in China. No other companies here at all. Just bullshit signs, and that's it. Now then, we are going to look at the quality of this plush. So, from afar, it looks pretty nice. The stitching is actually done rather nicely, and I've got to admit, done a good job on the eyes, which really attracted me. And I thought this was official. They put a lot of detail in the eyes. Let me just zoom this up on you guys to show. They've done a lot of work on the eyes and the cheeks and whatnot and everything else. But as usual, the material of the plush is rather cheap. And a big pointer for me is the arms. If you can see that, guys, now that is some very, very poor stitching on the arms. It's very easy seeable. It's very shitty. And as you can see here, the stitching is rather poor and wonky and everything. And even on the dress, it it's very shit and very nasty very cheap especially on the color you guys look at the color it is very uneven and very I mean this one looks a lot fatter than this one looks a lot thinner totally unportioned unproportioned you know uneven like shit um, just show you guys this stitching underneath the dress is very poor, piss poor in fact. We can see loads of errors here, loads of stitching coming off. And look at the state. Look at the state of the hand. Absolute, absolute joke. You guys can see that, foot out of the way. absolute mess looks like she's been in an accident gone to hospital and hence stitched up fucking amputated absolute garbage <sighs> now then we'll go to her twin tails now the head and the twin tails are rather done okay-ish as you can see here even the stitching here doesn't even line up total shit um, stitching on her head it's rather bad as well, making it 
this weird, making it giving it a weird shape on the top of her head there. And it's just piss poor. Especially her twin towel area here. You've got this part here, it's just loose, unstitched, unfinished. Can easily come off. You can see how bad the threading is. The threading is all over the place. You know, I'm not being funny, but even. Yeah, look, it, it, it's gone all the way up. Real Hatsune Miku plushes do not look like mutated eggs. Like, what, what the fuck is this? Even a little dildo coming out of the top there. That, this is so badly, cheaply fucking made. It's unbelievable. The only good thing I can say about this is the fucking face itself. The eyebrows, the, the eyes, and the face, that is the only thing that's good about this plush. But even then, it just everything else just lets it down. Okay, guys, so if you ever see a plush anywhere in a shop with this label, remember this label, guys. I will zoom up on it again for you to remember it all. This thing came out in 2014 from an unknown source, another than Olay Factory. With a fucking stitching needle there and a little... They are bastards. They really are bastards. But, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, I will be even more careful. I mean, I do a lot of research on figures um, and key, key, key chains and whatnot. But I I, I have I don't have a lot of experience on plushes. Um, I've had... I've made, this is my second bootleg I've actually bought now. Um, a few people pointed out to me on YouTube, which was I'm very thankful for. But I managed to find this up, and you know I managed to find out this was bootleg? Two reasons. One, I looked this up online and found nowhere, not, this does not exist, this company doesn't exist, it is just not non-existent. Two, I rung up Tokyo Toys themselves and asked them, is this official or is this bootleg? They came back with, it is a bootleg. I then just put the phone down on them, wasn't even bothered having an argument, that is that. They asked me, they told me that um, they had two versions of Miku. This one is a bootleg version, and the smaller version is the official version. I go to go on their website, they don't have the official version on there, and now this thing's been taken off the website completely. It is just not right. I will be doing a massive rant on Tokyo Toys. Fucking, I will be absolutely going apeshit. Trust me, it'll be the next video. Next video up will be about Tokyo Toys and how bullshit they are. Okay? Okay guys, that's it for this review. Um, I hope you learned a few things like I have about bootleg plushes, especially Hatsune Miku and what to look out for. Okay, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think about this plush. And you know, basically at the end of the day, I'm warning you guys to keep away from this fucking thing. This is deadly cancerous shit. Fucking, fucking evil fucking shit. And I don't want you guys to buy it. I want you to have better. I want you to have official stuff. I want you to be happy with what you've got. Look at this fucking cheap shit. Like fucking nappy. Fucking, fucking shit. Uh, okay, guys, that's it for now. Just uh, finishing off the video with beating the fuck out of the bootleg. And I'll see you guys soon for my news and reviews. Take care.